10 Weird Signs on Your Skin That You May Have Diabetes In this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into 10 weird skin signs and symptoms of diabetes. Now, diabetes is a condition where your body cannot control its blood sugars properly because of insulin resistance in your cells. You see, you can start off being very healthy, and over the years, you can slowly become a diabetic because you're eating lots of sugary foods, drinks, and refined grains, because you're snacking and eating too often, so your cells get overloaded, high stress levels can raise a hormone called cortisol, which raises your blood sugars. And eating inflammatory vegetable oils or not getting enough nutrients and antioxidants in your diet can all slowly cause the progression of diabetes. It's very important to become aware of the different signs that your body gives you when there's something wrong, because it is possible to reverse insulin resistance and prevent prediabetes or diabetes from getting worse. So if you'd like to find out if you possibly have diabetes or prediabetes, watch this video through until the end, as we will also be exploring some natural remedies and diet tips to help reverse diabetes by reducing insulin resistance. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical conditions. Sign number one is dark skin patches. You may notice darkened areas of leathery skin on the creases and the folds of your body, such as the armpits, the back of the neck, or the groin. You see, when there's too much sugar and insulin in your blood, the skin cells start to reproduce too quickly and at a rapid rate. These new cells have more of the melanin pigment, making it appear darker than the surrounding skin and it also has a velvety dry feel to it. Some people also have many tiny growths or skin tags growing on the patches. Leading me on to sign number 2, skin tags. Everyone has a skin tag or two, but if you notice that you're growing more of these little flaps of skin, this could be a sign of prediabetes or high blood sugars. The high insulin in your blood is weakening your immune system, causing a virus called HPV to come out of remission, and this can form new skin tags and sometimes warts. Many people who have reversed insulin resistance find that their skin tags naturally start to shrink and disappear. The third symptom is tingling feet. Although you visually can't see anything, you may sometimes notice and feel a deep tingling, burning, itching, irritating, stabbing, or electrical shooting pain in your feet or your toes. This happens when the high blood sugars or the insulin caused by the diabetes or prediabetes is damaging the nerves in your feet by destroying the outer coating of the nerves and causing them to short circuit, sort of like an electrical wire. Taking a daily supplement of benfoshamine can help to reverse this damage, but we'll talk more about diabetes remedies later in this video. Moving on to sign number four, which is fungal toenails. People who have high blood sugars or prediabetes often suffer from fungal toenail infections, where the toenails become thickened, discolored, and yellow. They may also suffer from frequent athlete's foot infections, where the skin around the toes and the soles of the feet start cracking and becoming very itchy. What you need to know is that fungus feeds on sugar. So the more sugar that's present in your blood, the easier it is for the fungus to infect and grow on your feet. Diabetes and prediabetes also weakens your immune system, and this makes your skin more prone to infections from the fungus. Fungal infections can also cause problems such as jock itch around the genitals, yeast infections, and ringworm. Skin sign number 5 is bed sores or ulcers. People who consume processed carbohydrates or have insulin resistance or diabetes often suffer from ulcers. These are open wounds that form on the skin and do not heal quickly because the high insulin is damaging the blood vessels beneath them. Around 15 to 25% of patients with diabetes will develop a diabetic foot ulcer during their lifetime. Sign number six is hard skin on the fingers. The skin on the knuckles, the fingers, and the hands can start to thicken and take on a waxy appearance if you have insulin resistance. 
So if your diabetes has not been controlled properly by making changes to the diet, the hands can become stiffer, and it can also feel like there's pebbles in your fingertips. Which leads me on to sign number seven, where the fingers are pulled forwards. In addition to the hard skin, skin and number six, diabetes patients also find that their fingers become stiff and difficult to move because the fascia beneath is getting thicker. You may begin to notice small lumps or nodules under the skin on the palm of your hand, which can be sore to begin with, but then the pain goes away over time. This is caused by high insulin and insulin resistance, which causes thickening and unusual growth of the fascia in your hands. Sign number eight is shin spots. High blood sugars from diabetes can weaken the blood vessels in the legs, which causes leakage into the skin from blood byproducts. This can form dark, brown, reddish, round spots on the lower legs, especially around your shins. These usually disappear within 18 months, but they're very common with diabetic patients because of the high insulin or glucose damage to the blood vessels beneath the skin. Sign number 9 to watch out for is skin bumps. Diabetics and pre-diabetic patients also tend to have higher levels of cholesterol in their blood, which the liver is struggling to break down. This starts to form these little bumps and lumps underneath the skin which appear like a cluster of small hard raised spots between 1 to 4 millimeters across in size. This can also be caused by thyroid problems, liver disease, and kidney disease, so please be sure to speak to your doctor if you notice any of these appearing. And finally, sign number 10 is puffy eyelids. Glucose, which is blood sugar, binds to water, so if you have high blood sugars and diabetes, you're also likely to have puffiness beneath your eyes. This does not necessarily mean that you're pre-diabetic, but if it is present alongside some of the other symptoms that I've talked about in this video, then it is likely that you have a blood sugar problem, and this could develop into diabetes over time if you don't correct your diet. If you do have one or more of these symptoms, it's highly recommended to visit your doctor and ask for a HOMA IR test. This is a very simple blood test where you can test your blood glucose and blood insulin after fasting to get an accurate reading to see if you have insulin resistance, prediabetes, or diabetes. You may also have your A1C tested to measure your average blood sugars over a period of time. If you've done this and you find that you do have a problem, you may also want to learn about some simple ways to reverse this condition. As I previously mentioned, diabetes is caused by insulin resistance, where your cells are not accepting enough of the sugar from your blood. Over time, this causes your insulin levels and your blood sugars to rise, which causes the symptoms on your skin that we've talked about in this video. Now, in order to reverse the diabetes or the insulin resistance, we need to get our cells working properly so that they can take the extra sugar from your blood to bring your blood sugars under control. You can help this process by using the following six tips. 1. Give your cells and your insulin receptors a chance to rest by cutting down on the high glycemic foods that quickly turn into blood sugar. Cut out the sugar, the starch, and the flour based foods and drinks, like biscuits, chips, sweets breads, pancakes, pasta, ketchup, soda, and all of those other lovely, tasty, refined carbohydrates. By lowering the carbohydrates that you eat, you reduce insulin resistance and give your cells a chance to catch up in order to balance your blood sugars. 2. Replace these refined carbohydrates and start eating healthy fats from avocados, pasture-raised eggs, grass-fed butter, raw coconut oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Healthy fats and proteins can sustain you, keep you feeling full and energized, and they help to reverse insulin resistance. 3. Load up on anti-diabetic herbs and spices that reverse insulin resistance. Berberine, cinnamon, green tea, bitter melon, turmeric, black seed oil, fish oil, and apple cider vinegar are all excellent choices. 4. Eat organic cruciferous vegetables every single day, like collard greens, Swiss chard, broccoli, 
Brussels sprouts, cabbage, and cauliflower. These foods are vitally important to reverse diabetes as they are loaded with the potassium and the magnesium that your cells need. These minerals make your cells more sensitive to insulin, whilst the soluble fiber and the phytonutrients they contain can directly stabilize your blood sugars. 5. Now, the most important technique is to stop snacking throughout the day, because this is the main cause of your insulin resistance. You want to practice intermittent fasting, where you eat all of your daily calories in a 6-hour window, and allow your body 18 hours to take a rest and digest. Fasting is the number one most powerful technique to open up your cells, reverse insulin resistance, and to improve digestion. If you don't do anything else but you just do this, this alone will help to reverse and clear up many of the skin symptoms that you've seen in today's video. And finally, 6. Sleep as much as you possibly can. Diabetics often struggle to get a deeper night's sleep which can cause high cortisol levels, a stress hormone that will raise your blood sugars. In order to reverse the insulin resistance, it's vital to improve your quality and duration of sleep by getting an extra 1 to 2 hours each night, where you can take a nap in the day whenever you possibly can. If you do this, you'll notice less food cravings the following day, as the sleep helps to normalize your hormones, it lowers your stress, and it balances out your blood sugars. There are also certain vitamins, minerals, and supplements that you can take to help reverse insulin resistance and diabetes, on top of fixing your diet. If you'd like to learn more, tap on this video that's on the screen now for more information. Once again, Thank you so much for watching my video today and for your support. Wishing you great health, wealth, and happiness.